All right, guys, day two, tiny home build. It's insulation day. This one, we're bringing out the big guns. I think that ought to get it done. All right, folks, so what we're gonna do, we've got two inch foam insulation sheeting. We're gonna cut that on the table saw. If you didn't know, I have a woodworking shop here, so that's gonna make that a lot easier. We're gonna cut these down to size and drop two layers of two inch foam, so we'll have four layers of foam. The uh, NOAA certification requires an R13 level of insulation for your floor. What we've got is the R10 two inch pink Pink Panther stuff, uh, you can get it anywhere. And we'll stack that up twice, so we'll have R20, it's gonna be more than enough. And then uh, we'll put some put some sill sealer stuff, thermal break, and then our subfloor is gonna go on. Today's pretty easy, and we're just gonna cut this foam down. We're gonna get it stuck in place, and that's it. Happy Sunday. What do you think, babe? Nice, nice cool, one. nice cool day. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Here's a close up of what's going on. Um, literally just stacking these things in. Uh, we'll come around with gap filler, spray foam gap filler. Also, I don't know whose beer can this is. Ours. I don't know, it's not you? No. Daisy, were you drinking while we were gone? We got our little helper here, working hard. <laughs> But like I was saying, we'll come around with gap filler. We really don't have that many gaps. This is a, a great fit. These spacings are incredibly consistent on these trailers, which is awesome because we can batch out all of our cuts and then just throw them in there. It's, yeah, we're throwing them in there. It's going, yeah, we're, <laughs> this one's throwing them in there. But uh, yeah, pretty uneventful day, but really starting to come together. Without further ado. So it's as easy as that. We'll come around, we'll take gap filler, and we will fill in all the little gaps, let that cover up. We're still gonna do these side cavities. We don't have the strapping right now, but I'll just show you what that looks like on the next video. How was it? First first day of hands-on mm -hmm. work? Pretty seamless, it's pretty good. There we go. We're gonna get this one used to talking on the camera. I'll not, I'll <laughs> not get there, but it's all right. All good, but I uh, know this, this worked out really well, super easy. This took maybe an hour to knock this out on this one. The foam, there's a lot of ways you can cut it. The table saw works great. If you're doing that, you kind of want to keep your whole blade inside of the piece, keep it just high enough, and that's going to keep it from looking like a blizzard in your shop or wherever you're cutting. <laughs> Alternatively, they do have hot knives. You can cut them with a razor blade and score it and break it there's a lot of different ways just whatever whatever resources you have and whatever you find is the best method personally the table saw is great consistent cuts consistent gaps everything went well we are going to go ahead and knock the second one out and we will see y'all on the next video just kidding folks thought i would give a little more detail before we put a bow on this uh this video I do have all of the insulation in now you can see we've done these on the outside. These I actually did three layers, so there's actually six inches of foam. It just made more sense with the trailer geometry. Do whatever makes sense on yours. This is what we're gonna come through and cover all of our joist members with. We'll put, we'll take this stuff and use some uh, spray adhesive to put that down. I'm not gonna show that on this video. There's not a whole lot to that, but um, you will see it on the subfloor video when we go to do that. Here we go, got all those cavities filled. You can see on the back, had a little gap and we went in with the great stuff, foam, 
fill it up, trim it down. But for the most part, across both of these trailers, everything was so square and consistent that uh, we didn't have to do much gap filling. We cut everything carefully and it worked out well. That was nice. Anytime you can minimize the spray foam, it's always good. But um, I guess that's all that I really wanted to add. We will cut to the slide where we're gonna give you all the uh, cost breakdown and all that fun stuff. Now, we'll actually see you on the next video. <laughs>